Hi, everyone. Welcome to the online version of Stats 2625, Statistical Literacy and Critical Reasoning. My name is Dr. Andy Chang. I'm a professor in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics at YSU. I'll be your instructor. Please review all the information in the Getting Started section in the Blackboard before you begin the course. So if you click on it, it will expand this folder, and there are many items in this folder starting from the introduction. Getting ready, it's very important that you actually have Alex system, which is the platform that you use during the semester for learning, and also set up the examity profile. This class will use online proctoring system examity. So you have to set up your profile before scheduling your exams. The next item in this getting started section is a syllabus. In this course, we will use Bullman's book. And uh, after you sign up for Alex system, uh, there will be an online ebook in the Alex system. In the syllabus, you can see the some important dates during the semester. And watch for this last day to withdraw from the class with a W, just in case you feel that you cannot handle this course and it's about to fail. But before you take such an action, please consult with me before making a decision. Math department has a tutoring center, so feel free to contact them to get some free tutoring service. Of course, uh, feel free to actually ask me questions and uh, just send me an email. We can use the online meeting system such as Zoom or WebEx to talk about your problem and solve your problem. And here is my information. Uh, you can set up an online meeting with me by first sending me an email to make an appointment. And I'm pretty flexible, so you can meet me in the morning or in the evening, any day in the week. I will have a time. Wednesday definitely will be available. The other days, we just uh, use email communication to arrange time. Uh, for this course, you need to sign up Alex system, and there will be an Alex assignment modules that you have to go through. Learning math, the best strategy is doing problems. So in the Alex assignment system, there is a lot of exercise, a lot of learning activity for you to do problems and solve problems. That's the best way to learn. Please follow the steady schedule and don't fall behind. In the very beginning, you'll be asked to do an initial knowledge check. Try the best you can to answer all the questions. Uh, because if you miss some of the topic, then Alex will ask you to practice questions from those topics. So if you end up missing all the questions, then you're going to have a lot of activity to work on. Uh, there will be also Blackboard assignment. You will see that in Blackboard section. And uh, there will be also a term paper. And the detail for the term paper will be announced in Blackboard. And again, like I said, the exam will be proctored through an online proctoring system called Examity. So Please try to set up your profile, exam profile, in the exam system. There will be instruction in this Blackboard section that will help you to set it up. And the exam schedule is given also here. So once you have the exam uh, profile set up, once the exam are available or schedule table are available, please try to schedule these exams uh, as early as possible. You can schedule your exam time during this period. All the exam is about 90 minutes, right? so uh, schedule the exam time as early as possible. Now, you can always change the schedule, but make sure you schedule a time that is at least 24 hours before you take the exam to avoid a $5 fee. And this is distribution of grades right, for all different activity in the class, and this is a grading scale. Now, it's important that you know that for your final exam, you have to score at least a D in order to receive a passing grade for this course. Right? So make a note on that. Okay. Then you can read the rest of the topics here. Okay. So that's in the syllabus. And please continue reading all these items about the uh, acquired technologies and technical skills that you need to have. And you can also download Microsoft Office for free if you're a YSU student, and that will allow you to do some of the Blackboard assignment. And please also check the university policy and course policy. There's also some information on stu student support service. If you uh, please uh, take a look at that too. Okay. And after you've done that, you can actually check into the uh, Blackboard discussion board to 
pose a threat uh, to introduce yourself to the class. Earlier, I mentioned there are two important things you need to do. One is uh, register for Alex system. So if you click on this, you see the instruction for registering yourself in Alex system. So please go through these one by one to get yourself signed up for Alex system. Uh, so you cl first, you will click this link to start your signing up process. Okay. After you sign up the process, please take your initial knowledge check first. In the first week, you, it's a review of, of algebra. After you finish your initial knowledge check, uh, Alex will find out which topic you need to work on, and then your first week activity will really depend based on the outcome from the initial knowledge check. Once you finish all these topics in Module 1, please proceed to Module 2. Okay? Also, please try to do this knowledge check as early as you can. Right? If you wait till later, it's going to delay all your study activity, which is not good. Right? So anytime you see a knowledge check, try to get it done as early as possible. And once you have your uh, Alex register sign up in the future, you just have to click on this uh, launch link to launch to actually get into your Alex system. Now, if you have any question, please click on this uh, discussion board, Alex Technical Issues, right, to post your question. Or you can send me email if you wish. And the next one you have to do f for this week is access exam. So if you click on it, uh, it'll take you through steps right, for setting up your exam profile. Once you set up your exam in the profile, then you'll be able to schedule your exam. I will send you some note right, when I s realize those, uh, when I see those exam schedule table are available. Okay, and there is this Mac support form. You can click on it and then try to request some free tutoring service from the Math Assistance Center. And after you finish getting started section, then please go into Blackboard orientation if you have never used Blackboard. So there, uh, in this section, you, you it'll help you to understand what's a blackboard look like, how to get around, go around inside the blackboard system. And there's a few more blackboard resources for students, right? so you can check in there and see how blackboard work and other information. After you've done all these, remember finishing your Alex registration and exam cell, uh, profile setup. Then you can click on module one to understand what you need to do for the first week of the semester. So you will check on the overview to understand what you need to do in this first week for module one. Okay, pretty much is reviewing algebra topic in Alex. So after you complete your initial knowledge check, Alex will evaluate your performance and will provide you some topic for you to work on. And once you're done with this module one, please proceed to module two right away. Don't wait until next week. Usually the modules is arranged week by week until the end of the semester. That schedule will be slightly changed, right? Some of the topics are a little bit longer, but most of the, the uh, topics are week by week arranged in these modules. So once you're done with your module one, you can click module two. Module two, again, you, I will check on the overview and to understand what you need to learn for this module and then uh, you will see uh, some additional information for you to study. So for each of those modules, there will be some topic right, that you have to study. So you study from those ebooks inside the uh, Alex, and then you can actually work on quizzes or do all these module activity inside the Alex. If you need additional help, there's a link for a version of a textbook, Blumen's textbook, and also uh, there are some video uh, for different topics. So this section is a video, a YouTube video made from Professor Leonard. And I also provide some of my own uh, video. So you can actually read the Alex uh, online book. And once you have problems, feel free to check into this video to, to get some additional uh, information and learning. And you can also explore videos online, YouTube, that you can find a lot of very good uh, lecture video for different topics. While you're doing Alex system, we set up a, actually a time goal in Alex, which means uh, the Alex system will record the number of hours you spend in Alex. Weekly, we expect you to spend at least five hours. So if you reach five hours, you will get the whole 100% credit from the weekly time goal portion of the Alex grade. So make sure you spend 
at least five hours each week, right? So let's say if you finish your initial knowledge check and then you get some activity for module one, and that's what your activity in, in week one. So if you are very good in the algebra topics and you finish it so quickly, then you should just start your module two in week one. I just try to study at least five hours per week. If you can do that, then you're going to get full credit for this weekly time goal part. In each module, also uh, starting from module two, you will see a module quiz. And those module quiz typically are some questions from the activity, the Alex activities you did. And that module quiz is inside Alex for each of those modules. So that's about Alex. Then each module also have a discussion starting from module two. And there'll be some question in the discussion. And I wish you can answer those questions in the discussion board and discuss with other students in the class. There'll be some credit point, although any credit is, is good. And then there is a module summary. So for each module, the organization for each module will be like this. Right? You have an overview that tells you what topic you need to study. And there will be some video links to some, actually some of the recorded lecture videos that may help you in study. You want to go through those, uh, all the different topics in Alex system and read uh, these topics in Alex ebook right, to actually study. And video are some additional material that you can use. And module two tell you what are the activity you need to do for that particular module. Generally, that means uh, your Alex learning activities, and sometimes you have discussion. Sometimes you may have some blackboard assignment. So they'll be all described in this uh, required activity section. Uh, and you can always find a discussion right after that. And that's uh, one of the activities. Good. So that's how the course work. And uh, I will try to release these module one by one. And after every few module, uh, before the exam, you will see a catch-up module. So for some students who actually couldn't finish the module in time, but before the exam, you really need to study all the topic, then this is an exam week. You can actually do some catch-up on that, right? So to so make up for the topic that you miss, right? Hopefully, you can find Blackboard assignment. So they'll be all described in this uh, required activity section. Uh, and you can always find a discussion right after that. And that's uh, one of the activities. Good. So that's how the course work. And uh, I will try to release these module one by one. Uh, before the exam, you will see a catch up module. So for some students who actually couldn't finish the module in time, but before the exam, you really need to study all the topic. Then this is an exam week. You can actually do some catch up on that, right? So, so make up for the topic that you miss, right? Hopefully, you can follow the schedule and to complete each module on time. If you miss a topic, then those topic may be required for the following modules. Then you will have trouble getting other module complete too. So. It's very important that you follow the study schedule. My suggestion is try to get these uh, topics within each module finished in the early part of the week. Don't wait until the last part of the week, like a weekend right of the week, try to start doing this, and you'll be late. Okay? And be sure you spend at least five hours each week in studying, studying for this course. OK, I wish you have a great time in this course. Now, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to email me. We can always arrange online meetings through either Zoom or WebEx to talk about your questions, right? Help you to solve problems. Have fun in this class.